scientists have proposed the idea of melting lunar soil into a solid, layered substance by shooting lasers at it. This can help pave the way to building roads and landing pads on the moon's surface, according to a new study. Many space agencies, including NASA, aim to establish semi-permanent bases on the moon, which will enable us to study it better and also serve as a stop-off on the way to other places in the solar system, such as Mars. However, landing and living on the moon's surface poses a challenge due to the dust of its soil getting kicked up by landers. The low gravity on the moon means that the dust floats around after it is disturbed, potentially causing harm to equipment. To overcome this challenge, scientists are exploring the possibility of creating robust roads and landing pads on the moon. As transporting building materials from Earth would be costly, the researchers examined the lunar soil and experimented with lasers to see whether it can be turned into a more substantial substance. The study found that lunar dust can be melted down into a solid material using lasers of different sizes and types. The best results were obtained using a 45mm diameter laser beam to make hollow triangular shapes that were about 250mm in size. These pieces could be assembled to create solid surfaces that could be used as roads and landing pads on the moon's surface. While the same approach on the moon would require a lens of around 2.37 meters squared, which would have to be transported from Earth, the researchers suggest using a lens to concentrate sunlight instead of using a laser. This would allow for the material to be created using relatively small equipment. The research is detailed in a new journal article titled Laser Melting Manufacturing of Large Elements of Lunar Regolith Simulant for Paving on the Moon, published in Scientific Reports.